My name is Andy Hazel, and I am the CEO of uh, <coughs> the Desert Island Casinos. And I'd just like to take this uh, moment to welcome everybody for coming to share this exciting event with us today. So as you can see, a tremendous amount of work has been done on this uh, site uh, as we move forward to building the uh, Desert Diamond Casino, West Valley. I'd like to start out <clears throat> by taking this opportunity to thank everyone who's been involved in, uh, in this project, starting with our subcontractors and construction workers, who have done an amazing job in making this uh, project a reality. I'd also want to give a special thanks to the joint venture between Hunt Construction and Penta Construction, our general contractors. The joint venture between ROV Construction and Summit Construction, our owner's reps, and our architectural firm, NEDAC Bobo. All have worked very hard to keep this project moving forward. In keeping with the uh, commitment of hiring locally, I'm proud to say that the overwhelming company, overwhelming majority of companies that are working on this project are located here in the valley. Chef Steel, Bel Air Mechanical, Delta Diversified, and Sturgeon Electric are great examples of companies that have offices throughout the valley. I want to thank all of these contractors for their partnership and the great job that they're doing. Before I go any further though, I'd like to take this opportunity to provide you some history on the topping off ceremony that we're having here today. The practice of topping off a new building can be traced back to the ancient Scandinavians who placed a tree on top of a, build, a building to appease the tree dwelling spirits that were displaced by the, by the construction. Today though, we're doing something special. Not only are we topping off our building with a tree, we'll be hoisting the uh, Tohono O'odham Nation's flag and the flag of the United States on the top of our buildings. This important custom migrated from Scandinavia to England, Northern Europe, and the Americas. This practice remains common today in the United States where the last beam is painted white, signed by the workers, and it's a thanksgiving to uh, the steel, that all the steel has been completed and that there has been no injuries and deaths. And it's also a lucky charm for those that will be working on the project in the future to keep them safe. <laughs> 